Welcome to Liberated Stock Trader. Learn stock market investing. My name is Barry Moore, Certified Financial Technical Analyst and Founder of LiberatedStockTrader.com. In this episode, I will cover the top 20 best stock market investing audiobooks. Audiobooks are a great way to absorb books when you do not have the time to sit down and read. I enjoy audiobooks when driving, hiking, walking and even when gardening. I get through at least 50 books a year. Here you will find a selection of our most highly rated audiobooks available at audible.com and audible.co.uk. I use Audible because the selection is unbelievable and the prices are also fantastic. A membership is by far the most cost effective way to consume audiobooks as the cost per book is reduced by more than 50% of the retail price for an audiobook. The following books are rated on their educational content, do they really teach you anything? and also their entertainment value. Are they actually worth listening to? At number one, The Little Book That Still Beats the Market by Joel Greenblatt. This is a five-star book, a short but fascinating book looking at the specific system which the author declares and proves makes a regular profit. I have back-tested this system personally and it works very well. It is a little high maintenance, but the lessons held within are vital. This is also quite humorous which is welcome in the dry world of investing. I will be approaching Mr. Greenblatt with my system soon, but suffice to say, a top lesson on finding great companies. A great introduction to a stock market system. Number two, Flash Boys by Michael Lewis. This is another five-star must-read book. It's a gripping bestseller that blew open the secrecy behind high-frequency trading, HFT, and embarrassed Wall Street large investment banks, and even retail brokers. This is the 2014 book to read. It's not just hype. Lewis has researched and investigative journalism on his side, unveiling the unfair way HFT trading is seeking to rip off not just American investors, but the whole globe. Lewis deserves more than a bestseller. He deserves a knighthood. Number three, Crash Proof by Peter Schiff. I like this this audiobook. It's a jaw-dropping insight into the future large stock market crash that he predicts and the inspiration for my stock market crash detector system, which is available at liberatedstocktrader.com. Schiff makes well-reasoned points that are difficult to argue with. Even for a bullish investor, it's important to understand the counter-argument so you're ready for any major stock market crash. Number four, The Quants by Scott Patterson. This is another five-star book. It's a must-read. A poker tournament at a plush hotel with the heads of the big quantitative trading houses is the backdrop for this great book. Here we get an insight into the larger-than-life figures and the quantitative tactics of the genius mathematicians working on Wall Street and what impact it has on the broader market. Packed full of fascinating insights, this book really lets you know what you're up against in the markets. Number five, The Alpha Masters by Manjeet Ahuja. I rate this as 4.5 stars. It's highly recommended. A behind-the-scenes look at successful hedge fund managers and the industry, including their investing styles. Understanding how the hedge fund operates and the tactics and strategies they adopt is important for your overall understanding of the market. Also, it is interesting to see the rise and fall of these Alpha Masters and the psychology of how they deal with it. Number six, The 86 Biggest Lies on Wall Street by John R. Tolbert. I've rated this four and a half stars, it's highly recommended. Tolbert's 86 Biggest Lies on Wall Street is a good book and an easy read. Some of the lies are difficult to agree with, but on the whole, a good insight into the views of Wall Street and government. The positives, although Tolbert tells you what the lies are, his version of the truths are also debatable. A firm view against the use of technical analysis to analyse stocks and markets shows he's no expert in this area. Moreover, however, these flaws in his reasoning are balanced with good and compelling arguments against many of the preconceptions we have today regarding governments, corporations, venture capital and economists. The negatives, there are some interesting arguments, especially if you have a left-wing conspiracy theory bent. Next, another book for Michael Lewis at number seven, The Big Short. I rate this four and a half stars. It's highly recommended. 
a great story involving the few men who bet against the investment banks going into the 2007 financial crisis. Lewis has a great way of writing and adds great storytelling to the factual background of what went on before and after the credit crunch. It's a really great listen and has also been made into a hit Hollywood movie. Number eight, The Little Book of Common Sense Investing. This was added to the list in 2018. I've rated it four and a half stars, highly recommended, written by John C. Bogle. The creator of the world's first index tracking fund shares the critically important lessons why you should not be actively trading stocks, commodities and ETFs, but investing long term. The key messages are very clear and passionately explained in the book. Essentially, using any stock advisors, stock pickers or mutual funds are going to work out negatively for your investments over the long term. And this is a message that I've been spreading and sharing since the founding of liberatorstocktrader.com back in 2011. So I fully support the assertions. This is an incredibly important information that everyone needs to understand. Taxes, broker costs, mutual fund manager costs, financial advisor costs will severely eat away at the long-term compounding power of your investments. The positives of the book Short and sweet and backed up with plenty of proof to back up the assertions he makes. Negatives constantly repeats, don't take my word for it, and gets a little annoying after a while. At number nine, full of bull, Stephen T. McClellan. Rating four and a half stars, highly recommended. An insider's account of how Wall Street financial analysts really operate. This book deciphers the double talk and outright misleading way stock market analysts cover the markets and how to really read their advice. I came away with the thought to never trust Wall Street analysts and do my own research. Positives, a good addition to any bookshelf with insights into how companies manipulate earnings and how Wall Street analysts sit in a microcosm of influence from the big company CEOs. Negatives. Some of the book became a little tiresome to read or listen to, but it was nonetheless interesting. Number 10. No list would be complete without The Wolf of Wall Street by Jordan Belfort. I've rated this four stars. Highly recommended. Ever wondered who's behind the cold call you get from a company you've never heard of trying to sell you stocks in a company you know nothing about? Belfort provides a thrilling and entertaining view of his life as a chop house stockbroker. High on entertainment, this book is a roller coaster ride description of the personal life of Belfort himself. A really great book that was recently turned into a Hollywood blockbuster. Number 11, The Buy Side by Tony Duff. Rating four stars. An excellent insight into how the buy side operates on the financial market and just how much money these guys get to play with. On a similar vein to Wolf of Wall Street, this is also a future film in the making. A true story looking into Wall Street's underbelly and the crooked practices and the insane after-work parties. Do you really want these people managing your money? Well worth listening to. Number 12. No list would be complete without a book by Warren Buffett. And this one is The Snowball. Rated this four stars. It's highly recommended. By far the very best Warren Buffett book. Weighing in a mighty 37 hours For the unabridged version, which is the one I listen to, I would seriously recommend the abridged version, however, which is only 10 hours, as it gets to the meat without all the waffle. He has a great life story and is the world's most successful investor. This is a very worthwhile way to spend your time. Number 13, another book, the third book in the list by Michael Lewis, which is Liar's Poker. I've rated this four stars. Charting the author's experience working for a Wall Street investment bank, this book is an interesting and entertaining look at the characters that make up the testosterone fueled trading floors that people entrust their money with. It is worth the read just to ensure you're convinced that investing your money on your own terms is the right direction for you. Number 14, One Good Trade by Mike Bellafiore. Four stars. Ever wondered what life would be like on a prop desk, a proprietary trading desk? Then this is the book to read. Looking at how a prop desk works and what motivates the people. 
What struck me was the short-term in-out scalping that occurs on the prop desk. Thousands of trades for small wins, a day trader's dream book. Number 15, The Undercover Economist by Tim Harford. Rated this three and a half stars, it's recommended. The most entertaining and educational book on economics ever written, in my opinion. Tim Harford helps us mere mortals put the puzzle of economics in perspective and show us why it's so difficult to run an economy. Great examples of farmers and coffee shops and how to outwit Starbucks. How do big chains and corporations price their products and why all is revealed. Don't miss this one. Again, Tim Harford in at number 16 with the Undercover Economist Strikes Back. Rate this three and a half stars. This is a great follow-up book and it takes a look at some of the fascinating examples of human behaviour in economic terms and is a great listen. Why should you care? Being an investor, it's really important to get basic understanding of economics. With this book, The Medicine of Learning is Sweet and with Humour. Number 17, Born to Steal by Gary Weiss. I've rated this three and a half stars, it's recommended. A highly entertaining read covering the scams and mafia infiltrations of Wall Street. Following the rise and fall of a fast-talking stock market hustler, all is revealed about the seedy side of when the mafia knocked on Wall Street's door. Almost unbelievable, but it is a true story. Next, Running of the Bulls by Christopher Smith. I really enjoyed this book, I've rated it three stars. It's a great fictional financial thriller involving 12 people targeted for murder by the double-crossed Wolf Hagen. This will have you on the edge of your seat. Although it's less educational than other books, it is a movie in the making. Number 19, The Intelligent Investor by Ben Graham. I rated this three stars. It's definitely worth a listen. It's a classic book written by Ben Graham, the father of value investing. Warren Buffett was also strongly influenced by Graham. The positives, there's a huge amount of valuable insight and knowledge. The revised version with comments from Jason Zweig brings the book up to date with new examples of how the book's tenets still hold true. Negatives, with an overwhelming 623 pages and a very dry writing style, you will need a lot of coffee to get you through this one. At 20, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. This is three stars and worth a listen. An insight into how to manage the mind when setting up, executing and exiting your trades. This book provides deep opportunities for thought. Understanding your own approach psychologically to the stock market is a good investment of your time. Although a little long for the specific subject matter, it will still add value. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to complete stock market investing education, combining fundamental and technical analysis, risk and portfolio management to give you the knowledge to invest with consistency and confidence, check out our pro training with 16 hours of video and the Liberated Stock Trader book. Go to liberatedstocktrader.com forward slash pro. Also, if you're looking for a great introductory course, check out our free trading academy at liberatedstocktrader.com forward slash register. And if you're not already listening to this via a podcast, then you can download our entire history of podcasts at liberatorstocktrader.com forward slash podcast to your future success.